guys so this is me trying to make a uh, 10 minute video all about creating a size 6 for Mara the new avatar in Chloe 3d and uh, there are a little bit of uh, I don't want to say glitches but there's some things that you need to know so I pulled in the measurements from Alvinon's um, online platform they have a chart there that you can follow for their their forms uh, which is pretty standard generic forms it's not proprietary to any Alvinon uh, people that use their own specific Alvinon needs so this is just the generic Alvinon measurements which is like a standard across all of the countries uh, you know from the United States France uh, you know the Netherlands everywhere Japan all that so let's get in let's get involved I like to keep all the advanced things open because there are some things that are grayed out that you kind of need to know what it is that you're looking at because uh, those things change as you adjust your measurements so you can see them on the chart but you cannot necessarily see them uh, or edit them in the measurement tool so let's go ahead and start I like to start from top to bottom uh, with the neck first so you're gonna see uh, how good this measurement tool is and some tips and tricks that you have to like kind of remember so I'll leave the height the same um, but let's change that uh, shoulder and neck to be according to Alvinon now you can see like some of those things change shoulder drop I like to keep it at two that's just her uh, her drop there now she's got a little bulge there which you'll see it goes away uh, as I adjust some of the measurements so let's see how that goes the next one is the bust so now we're going back up to the total body area and putting in the bust measurement okay so that kind of worked out but what's next after the bust the neck base kind of jumped back up so let's go back down and uh, change these first like I said the bust and the height are always like the first things you want to change because they kind of control the other measurements so let's go down to the apex height now that is exactly where your bust should hit now here we have a little bit of an issue if you can see she just drooped down but there's a way to fix that so let's go through it apex to apex I increased just a little bit because uh, her points are a little bit too close together and in order to fix that slouch that is the standard ten and a quarter but now I want to fix the height I want to fix the under bust and I want to fix the height of her bust so I'm gonna go down to the bust height and I'm gonna increase that just a little so that she's standing upright this is the only way I found to kind of get rid of that belly pudge and her and fix her posture and to keep her apex to apex uh, and high point shoulder to apex uh, in the same measurement so let's move on we have our waist now what happened to our waist as we did all of that did it change I don't think so so let's scroll down yes it changed so let's go back once you fix a measurement that is above the line the other measurements kind of just jump back into standard whatever uh, Mara was so let's go let's go back down the line hips high hip and low hip now I'm leaving the height alone I'm not gonna mess with it it does look a little bit small to me but um, I'm just gonna leave it alone for now because I'm not ready to get involved in all of that how to fix the height and all that so um, let's do the low hip and then let's do the uh, the inseam and the thigh now with the inseam I kind of just changed it a little bit because I think they are not taking the inseam from the floor they are taking the inseam from the ankle and that is not a good idea so it's a little bit of a difference of measurements of maybe like three or four inches from your ankle to the floor so um, I just kind of kept it the same and then I'll change the thigh because her legs are touching together I don't like that so a real 20 and 3 quarter inches is good for a good separation even though she's standing straight up let's just make sure some of our other measurements haven't changed 
She's kind of short from knee to ankle and kind of long from hip to knee. So let's just go and uh, do her sleeve. Now, here's where you kind of need to adjust the sleeve length. The center, the center back neck to wrist measurement is not editable. But as you adjust the sleeve, it will highlight. So if you can highlight it, if you can see what you changed to highlight it, you have to kind of match the highlighted portion that you can't change with what's on the actual spec sheet. So here's where those grayed out measurements come into play where you kind of have to play around and adjust. So if you didn't know that about getting a full body measurement, um, you kind of have to use a little bit of math and just adjust where you think it's going to uh, come out close enough. So the armhole now, her measurement, some of that adjustment kind of made her armhole look a little bit more normal. Um, she still has a little bit of a bump, but not as much as she did in the beginning. So we're going to continue with that. Um, and we can't really change the armhole height. So, you know, that's something that, you know, if you had all these measurements very, you know, varied, you can get a good shape, but they don't give us that option at this point in time. So maybe in the future, we'll be able to do that, but let's keep going. Um, what's next biceps. Let's just check out the bicep. <clears throat> Yeah, I just changed the knee and the, the ankle and everything just to be a little bit more normal, but I don't really have a measurement for that. So there's none anywhere in uh, the Alvinon record, so I just have everything on Excel right now. Um, for size 6, I don't see any of those measurements, so I kind of just flubbed it a little bit. Flub, 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 to um, just make it look a little bit more streamlined. So I digress. Please forgive back to the bicep so now the bicep is easy it's close to what it should be and actually changing the bicep measurement also changed that little dip underneath her arm there is no elbow and wrist so you would have to have like a, a customer or proprietary form or something in uh, your face to kind of know what those measurements should be so if you have them, you can enter them in now. Um, I don't have them right now, so I can't. But if you have a customer that is a custom measurement, then you can easily get that. Or you can easily get like industry standard measurements online. But as you can see, things change when you change those measurements. The highlighted measurements are the measurements that you can't change, but you can adjust according to what you can change in the measurement table. Um, when you adjust the measurements for circumference, etc., etc. So just keep an eye out for what's highlighted and then see how your changes are affected. You know, her uh, under bust and her bust line, they kind of don't go straight across, which is sort of normal because none of our bodies do anyway. So now I'm going to save her size file. That was Mara becoming a size six, saving her size file, and then I'll save her avatar file. And then we're going to see if she measures up when I pull her back in as an avatar. So um, we'll say goodbye to Mara for now and all of her lovely measurements. And then we'll pull her back in. But this is just an experiment to see like how the body shape changes. Um, someone really complained about her little belly pudge. Like maybe she shouldn't have one, but you know, women naturally have a little bit of belly punch. So I wouldn't uh, go as to say she had a pot belly, but she has a little bit of a, a roundness in her stomach, which is normal. Um, so I was able to reduce it with changing the posture. Uh, it goes away a little bit more than other things, but I think it's okay because she's flat enough up front. So let's just double check these measurements and then I will be on my way with my 10 minute video. Okay, I did a 10 minute video, I can't believe it. So let's just look at it. There she is. And this is only part one. There's a whole part two tomorrow becoming a size six, but it is very glitch related. So I just left this one as the good Mara in the sneakers, nurse shoes as I call them. And look, her measurements match up. So her measurements didn't change. She was able to be pulled back in as an avatar. 
uh, in her pose and that's it so Mara thank you very much take a bow take a bow all right guys later